hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in brief about the linear motions in rotaxins linear motions means that is nothing but one dimensional motion along a straight line linear motions can be simply classified into two types one being uniform linear motion and the other one is non uniform linear motion uniform linear motion means where the acceleration is zero non uniform linear motion means there will be some change in the velocity let us consider non uniform linear motion best example is an athlete running 10 100 meters along a straight track so here we can calculate few parameters such as displacement velocity acceleration and jerk so coming to the displacement displacement is nothing but the distance traveled by the athlete so that is delta x is equal to x2 minus x1 x2 means final position x1 is the initial position so coming to the velocity it is nothing but rate of change of displacement that means v is equal to delta x by delta t that is equal to x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1 t2 is the final time t1 is the initial time coming to the instantaneous velocity that means we are going to calculate the state of motion at a specific point of time that means the change in the time tends to zero that means it is very cha very small change in the displacement so it can be called as do x by do t coming to the acceleration acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity so a is equal to delta v by delta t and that is equal to v2 minus v1 by t2 minus t1 v1 is the initial velocity v2 is the final velocity coming to the jerk jerk is nothing but rate of change of acceleration so in other words it can be called as displacement so d is equal to half final velocity plus initial velocity into time if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day